Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Zazi Service of the Month. This is the June installment and as you can see, we're in lockdown. So this is a little bit different, but you're just going to have to bear with us, guys. Uh, it's also hard to get motivated. You guys don't send us money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're just... I mean, I'm not kidding about the money, but we're just trying to figure out uh, everything, everything, how this is going to work in lockdown. So yeah, a very special edition halfway through the month and I'm broadcasting from my kitchen. <laughs> so if any interruptions come through, don't blame us, okay? We're just going to try and do a job here. Right. With that being said, first of all, before we get into these lists, man, all you have to do hit the subscribe button, like us, let's get that to 1,000 subscribers, all right? So let's get that on the way. And without further ado, let's count them down. Coming through at number 10, it is Lime Rhymer. Is it Lim Rhymer? It's Lime Rhymer with the killer freestyle. Ready when you're ready, real life ain't no fiction. Call me Machiavelli cause I kill with my diction. Now this was a very, 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 very well put freestyle for someone that is relatively unknown which is what we do here don't really know this guy but i really thought that um it sounded it sounded really cool i thought i thought this verse was had a lot of conviction he rapped like he he belonged there you know like someone who's rapping like they haven't eaten you know like they're hunk yeah <laughs> that's that's what i felt uh, on this one one thing i'll definitely give this guy is that he has the voice for it like the voice definitely helps what he wants to say even if some raps aren't really hitting like that i think he says something about uh, machiavelli i put my thoughts on paper something like that and i'm I don't know it just did it just didn't it just didn't hit me like that you know what i mean but other than that i thought it was i thought it was a solid verse to you know to kick us off uh on our number 10 uh lime rhymer coming through there i think if he just improves his pen just a little bit just a little bit we, we're gonna get somewhere we're gonna get somewhere we might have we might have a hyena in the building you know what i mean but um it was dope it was really really dope and uh, that's lime rhymer coming through at number 10. none of you niggas can't flow you were viscous bunch of grandmas no flow nigga menopause all right moving on to number nine because the past two three weeks of zimbabwean hip-hop have been crazy okay uh they've been absolutely mental it's holy 10 with violence Got a designer, got a lot of designer, the shine and the spin on my J. Down on my size, I'm a time and power, my team, I'm a team, I'm a team. Alright, don't don't fight me on this one. <laughs> I actually forgot to give a disclaimer here. People actually take these these lists way too seriously. First of all, we're not fighting anyone. Second of all, we're trying to push the culture. So if you're number eight, nine, or whatever, it does not mean that you're a bad rapper at all. Like, this is just what I think, what I like, you know, and the rest of the guys uh, behind the scene. That's basically it. So, Holy Ten coming through uh, with the first first shot to Enzo Aishaw. And I think I think this was really cool. Something that Enzo definitely uh, thrives on. I will say this with certainty. No one, well, few people are beating holy 10 when it comes to to cadence like the way he he, he interwoves his like a multi-syllable rhymes like in one sentence and make it sound cool it's not forced it's easy to rap to i think this is probably one of the biggest reasons why he is the success that he is right now because it is so flawless even on this one um, on violence, like the whole team select a tissu, mazim celeb, tis, kaskiri kejecha, wish you pass mune, my issues. You know what I mean? Like that whole, it's, it sounds effortless, he's not breaking the structure, but it's still, it's still, it's still easy to bounce off. You know what I mean? And I loved that. I love, I love that because he does it in almost all of his songs. It's so effortless, and we are totally, totally, totally here for it, man look holy 10 is doing the most holy 10 is doing the most I, I was struggling to find which which one i was gonna put here because there's a way too many <laughs> way too many diss tracks that are coming through and guys we only put what we receive and what we think we like okay so yeah it is what it is <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, moving on to number eight. And this was actually one of my favorites. It's a blacksmith with the Wonder Years Freestyle. KE sniper with it, never miss cyber vision. Life is but a short game of fake friends and vipers in it, nigga, stay in your. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday to Blacksmith, man, at the big three. Oh, welcome to the dirty thirties. I say welcome to the, the, I'm not even 30 yet, but I feel like I'm close. <laughs> I feel like I'm close, man. I love this dude. First of all, if you haven't checked out his EP, The Three Pit, it's, it's dope. It's like three tracks and it's dope. Oh, hits three and oh, this dude was shooting 90 from the free throw or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's really dope. And he comes through with this with this freestyle. It's very rappy, rappy. The keys on this, amazing. I think it's what also gives um, the verse substance. And, you know, he, he's really spilling out his heart there because when i listen to his tracks like kilimanjaro you know they are very commercial ish you know what i mean but other than that i think here he was really pouring out his heart and some of my favorite bars he says I stay fresher than the symmetry my bubba designs <laughs> Because you know, like like a fade, and then um, my favorite, favorite, favorite bar from this from this freestyle, he says, I "Had to learn to be a man uh, myself, no father in sight. Had to learn to defend my to defend myself. Now I'm partly Van Dyke." Come on, it's a sports bar, but still, I, th I think I think it was really dope. I think it was really really dope, man, and I loved every bit of it. All right, and that's uh, a blacksmith uh, coming through at number uh, eight with Wonder Years Freestyle. Instead of hope to struggle children, kind of like James Avery had did for their fresh prince on that show we watched when we were kids. Take Moving on to number seven, one of my favorite artists who dropped an incredible project. It splits Louis on the marmalade verse. If it's survival of the illest, I think Diri Corona since 08 Nishimanya, I want to take Corona. Send one in coming through from the R U S A P E. Yeah, man. Ah, man, it's pretty slow. This dude, this dude is amazing. First of all, the instrumental in this hard. It's cold, too brazy, man. I loved it. I loved it. And you know, he, he's 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 showing his range as well because this dude has. I'm a piano songs, he has dance tracks, he has, and all of them, like he's rapping on them and they're just like well produced. He's such a good, good all rounder. Like the opening track on this joint is just, I'm just like, yeah, man, I love the flow. Like he he's, he's, doesn't seem like he's, he's forcing it. I just loved everything about that. Like this dude says, um, uh, if we talk about the illest, I think during Corona, since 08 Dishimana, I want to pay Corona. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not like super deep or whatever, but you you know how I feel sometimes with these bars that are very very easy and they they start off like it's how you start the verse sometimes like you really put in that conviction and I felt it here and I totally 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 felt it here and I absolutely uh, I loved it man uh, that's Miss Louis uh, on the marmalade uh, dope 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 verse dope verse the first verse is cold. Alright, let's move on. Coming through at number six. You already know who it is. Actually, you don't, so let me tell you. It's cynic on Mavara. It's the things that we uphold as tradition. Conform to an order that was forced in oppression. Patriarchal domination, melanated subjugation. Cynic coming through, man, and as always, he's he barely misses, and I am absolutely here for it, man. And he comes through on this one. You guys already know my feelings when it comes to when it comes to Cynic. Like, if you want him on your track and you want him to deliver, just tell him about like the government and 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 disenfranchised youth and things about hunger and like the youth struggling and he's gonna come through man and he was on here on this on that woke rap you know what i mean and i i, I loved it I, I love like he's he's smooth he's smooth with it and listen you should know who cynic is by now like come on man and just go check out this project uh, it's called Miraguru by uh, Damien Marcus and it's impeccable from start uh, to finish. Underground rap is really, 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 really uh, thriving and I love everything about that. An education system built to keep us all sedated. We seek equality with those positioned at the apex while stomping those below us because we've fallen for... Right. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Usually, this is where people start catching feelings. So, okay. <laughs> Let's not, let's not do this. <laughs> As you can see, 
the circumstances are, are crazy is when we when we record these things and put in a lot of work okay don't catch feelings <laughs> rappers are so sensitive man i <laughs> coming through at number five is my man don with sonia or is it sonja one of those two. Into a cuck and a simp and indeed I'm done. She come and eat cause she need to come. Domination's got cheat codes and all the life has. Yo, this dude is, is cold. I think we said it in the past uh, video. Uh, I think it was on a track called When They See Us or When They See Me. I think, I think. Um, he, he killed, he killed the verse that he was featured um, there. I think it was really, really dope. But uh, on this one, he's really pulling out his heart. It's actually a love song. And um, like I've always said before about Dawn, he really is the rapper that he thinks he is. Like he writes well, he can rap well, and he knows how to structure his thoughts. And they come off really, really, really consistent and uh, but concise. It's the first verse is the highlight uh, for me. First of all, uh, the hook on this was was dope. Love the vocals as well. And then he comes through. Um, it's 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 a bit unorthodox because when it's a love song, you kind of want to hear some easy to go with run. But you know, he told me that yo man, I'm actually colder than you think. I'm colder than you think. I'm like, alright, cool. Let's hear it. And he did not disappoint, man. Like. Uh, this dude says, uh, you my vice, because uh, your hold on me is like a tight grasp, uh, road to success, the hitchhike, then the hijack. It, come on, man. It's, it's dope. Like, write it down, write it down. <laughs> I love that. And then my favorite part is, I uh, sold my soul uh, for your love. I might die in the Odyssey. You saw Illuminati, you put the eye in a Sosilis. Okay, if you didn't do grade, grade four, is it grade five math? You know, types of triangles, isosceles, you put the I in isosceles triangle because Illuminati, a triangle with an I, come on. <laughs> Let's go. I love rap, man. I love rap and I love dudes uh, when they put in uh, their verses like this. It goes on to say, um, all seeing, all seeing eye like a pyramid in place, are still blinded by your love while my vision is in shape. You know, I, pyramid, vision, in shape. Is that Illuminati rap, bruh? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Is that Satanist rap? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But that was cold. <laughs> that was cold, man. I, 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 I absolutely. Uh, I love that. So for your love, I'ma die in this odyssey. You so Illuminati, put the eye in that sausalis. All seeing eye like a pyramid of place still blind. Ah, cool. <laughs> Moving on to our number four. Uh, it is a paint of fresco on the Malibu freestyle. Uh, Twenty two fly, pulling up only with fire. I never talk to a hoe that ain't sure if she for me for painting that girl better die. Kind of like some of you niggas who talking too much like. All right. Painter's back, man, and one of the most consistent rappers out there right now. And he really got into his rapping bag um, really, 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 really intensely. Um, if, is that a word? I think that's a word. Yeah, he really came through um, here. I think this dude is now like two for two or three for three, like when it comes to this cover freestyles. And he's been killing every single uh, one of them. My only gripe is that one, they are short. Um, and I'm personally not a fan of covers. I really think like if you found out, I mean, the Malibu freestyle by the Migos is crazy. Um, and he really, he really hops on there. Like the reason why it's better than Dawn's one is because I think Painter is a better sounding rapper. It's the voice for it. It's the look, the charisma, uh, everything is just on point. And I absolutely, absolutely, um, uh, I love it. It's not too deep here. Like I've always shared on, on the show. Uh, that when it comes to to these verses, you have people who are super deep, uh, super lyrical, and great bars, and then you have people who are not like super deep with the bars, but sound amazing, you know. And this dude sounds amazing. Like you listen to him, and like, oh man, where have I heard that before? Because it's 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 really dope. And new king of the north of Samora, the the salad boys, they're, they're doing the most, man. They're really doing the most. And uh, shout out to Painter Fresco coming through. I think he believes that this is the top three verse. I don't know. This is, this is why we do this show, man. So that we have varying opinions. <laughs> so that we have varying opinions. Yeah. 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 Yeah
me like pink Tell me like you What else you really expect? Just coming through at number three Is one of our favorites And you know why he's our favorite? Because he never slacks Never slacks Literally every verse is up there And it's six the law Via yeah, the law right? Six the law coming through <laughs> Big diver, verbal MacGyver The way I make the sample flip And I dive in Deep thoughts I am hiding When you see me smiling There's a deeper story I'm learning how to switch Hi man, you can never Never not find a good verse from six And one thing I, that, I, that I like is with his style of rap it is deep it is concise it is uh clear but he does sound like something i haven't heard before like i listen to him and i feel like yes this is this is his voice this is his writing like it doesn't feel it doesn't feel um, imitating you know what i mean like it doesn't feel copied it doesn't feel forced it is just it's just there and maybe the only thing that kind of sounds of force is that he he really tries to make it a point that you take away something like there is a bar that you take home um there is um, like a flow pattern something something like he will always leave you with the quotable and he leaves us with plenty here even like the way he starts here um, you know how i feel like with these lyrical miracle type dudes this dude says uh, olympic diver verbal my guyver <laughs> the way i make the sample flip and dive in ah the way uh, the way i switch lanes i've been studying to Tory. come on the way i switch lanes i've been studying tory tory lanes before that he had that bar but uh bryson tiller like, like come on you know he, he loves these little to my to my name flips and, and it was dope like if talks about flipping a sample then flips a name come on man you can't can't hate on that can't hate on that man six the low uh, coming through featuring actually on uh a reaper's uh a boom baptist um project which is out i think it's his debut album it is dope from start to finish the production the features um everything it's 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 sonically well-rounded and it's amazing you gotta check it out uh, don't say we didn't put you on to nice things say we don't put you on to nice things all right cool Lanes, i've been studying tory a hey. believe in yourself never doubt yourself a hey. love your inner self don't sleep on yourself a hey. that's the highest wealth not a fancy moving on to our number two it is the one and only it's the legend it's the legend man and he's coming through actually i just realized there were some verses that we actually forgot to put uh, by this guy uh, before uh, but you know it's better late than never right it is outspoken on my vara Spoken contradiction i resemble the hero and the villain the poverty stricken the image of greed within the system the victor and victim always often in my opinion but here we go, man. It is that dreadlocked uh, wordsmith. <laughs> I don't know if that's the nickname he goes by, but a big, 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 strong verse here uh, from Outspoken because he had Damien Marcus in here. He had uh, Cynic as well uh, on the same track. But this verse just resonated with me on so many um, levels, man. It's, it's, it's that deep melodic rap again uh from from outspoken one that we've grown accustomed to if you listen to his double album uh it's god over everything and uncool and overrated it it's soulful like you'll find everything there you'll find the the, the deep soft you'll find the boom bappy the rapidy rapidy you you'll find everything man and easily this is easily one of the most uh, sonically pleasing um verses on on this list um particularly on the i think on the on the whole project i really did love um this verse because he does the whole melody thing without sounding too drakeish and without without um losing the lyrical integrity of of the whole of the whole verse and and i just i just i just love it man it's like he's he's totally in his element here um like it's double layered verses it's like double voices it, it sounds it sounds dope man it's, it's i'm like talk that walk ish man come on let's get it it's, it's that phd thesis rap you know what i mean <laughs> outspoken <laughs> coming through strong <laughs> love that joint Good man, the femicide committing homophobic sycophant. I pick a stance, but bigoted in my advance. The gas lighting, false flag in my And then our number one. So we've kind of decided not to put honorable mentions because whew. People are yet to as Zim hip hop, we are working on on, on working on people's egos. 
because <laughs> nobody likes that. <laughs> but we'll see, see, we might bring it back. <laughs> we might bring it back. But our number one verse of the month for the month of June is Ray Kaz on the Hold My Hand cover. I only been inside this game about a year or so. I joined a year ago. I got a year to go. If I don't quit after the next, it'd be a miracle. Cause I become so. Yo! It's Ray Kaz rocking the tight shirt with the uh, what does he say with the slippers and nice smirk and <laughs> pimping his light work if you listen. Okay, that's actually from from his project. We should you check it out by the way. Anxious Confidence EP. It's amazing. And I don't know why it took this guy so long to be here. Well, actually, the last time we featured uh, Ray Kaz, he was on number seven, and his people were not easy. <laughs> were not happy. <laughs> about that because i said the verse didn't sound like the audio was 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 horrible but it was easily 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 one of the most um solid bar heavy um verses uh that we had and he did disappoint on this one man because ray has like this good deep range like he never lets a track go to waste and i've already said i don't really like covers but i really did like this one in the sense that it's it's very heart, heartfelt um there's conviction in there there's uh there's lyrical depth in there there's uh, flow patterns that switch on and off and it's 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 very very intelligent you know what i mean like it's well put together and i just um uh, uh, love that man and the flow as well like it's them not of Samora boys, bro. It's, it's them St. George's boys. It's St. John's boys. You know what I mean? This, this, these are the guys that, that, that used to drive to go to, to sports events. <laughs> so the English is all right. The English is... Nah, man, I love Ray. <laughs> he knows it. <laughs> he knows it. And I, I really do. I don't think there was a better verse uh, than this, uh, this month. And you, you'll be hard you'll be hard to find one because I really do think that if you do listen to this verse, you listen to any other verse that Ray Kaz has put on. And one thing, if you're a neutral and maybe you're kind of fair-ish new to Zim Hip Hop or you only know like the faves or, you know, the, the, the guys that are no known, you know, you'll probably ask yourself, man, is this guy Zimbabwean? Oh man, why didn't I know of this guy? And I'm telling you right now, man, I'll put that man on your playlist because he's not playing. Is a play and I loved it. Thank you. Play just the disregard for my story, the discontent with my journey. I lost my love for this. I'm sorry, God. Sometimes I question whether this shit matters. Tinasha told me not to concentrate my efforts in the instant gratification. Right. <laughs> with that being said, man, that's it for our verse of the month. We're sorry, it's coming late uh, because we're trying to figure out everything. You know, we're waiting for mine. So, guys, do support us, man, because. You know it really does help the channel uh, and if you can't support us at least like the video at least leave a comment even if you just say dope you know it really helps the algorithm and it helps us uh, grow you can buy us a coffee you can send us an eco cash it will show my name uh, on it Mukudzaim Labo in case uh, y'all didn't know did I say my name earlier on I don't know I don't know so yeah this is the lockdown series of the verse of the month you might be seeing me in the future in this type of environment because we're still trying to you know we're locked down we're locked down but as soon as normal returns uh, you know normal scheduling is coming back i like i said catch you next month <laughs>